Hi boys and girls, this week in maths we're going to be looking at inverse operations. Can you say that? Inverse operations. Very good. So, what is an inverse operation? Well, first of all, operation, we don't mean going to the doctors or to the hospital. The operation is looking at our sums and equations and are we doing a takeaway, are we doing an add or even later on, are we doing a multiplication or a division? Inverse. Inverse just means the opposite. So the opposite of a hot would be cold, of dry would be wet. And in maths, the opposite of add, the inverse, would be a takeaway. And if we were doing multiplication, the opposite or the inverse would be a division. But we're going to be concentrating on additions and, subtract and subtractions today and we're going to be finding the inverse of additions because we know we find the we find adding a lot easier than taking away so we're going to focus on the taking away today to help reinforce those skills and why why do we need to learn inverse operations well it's a good way to check your work and you know as teachers always say check your work before you bring it back but we need to give you those skills and those methods to know how to check your work and finding the inverse is a good way to check so let's see what it looks like so here i have got five plus two five plus two we're going to start with an easy one that we probably know the answer to but it's a good way to learn the skill and the method to do much more complicated ones so five plus two put five in our heads Show two, let's count on. Five, six, seven. So five plus two equals seven. Let's see what that looks like with our cubes. One, two, three, four, five. Five plus two equals seven. Okay, so we're going to check if that's right by doing the inverse, by doing the opposite. So our addition will become a subtraction because we're going to do the opposite and we're going to start at the end and reverse it so let's see five plus two equals seven so this time i'm going to start with my seven and it's an inverse so our addition becomes a subtraction so five plus two equals seven seven take away two equals five seven take away two equals five so we haven't changed the amount of these numbers or the value of them we've just read the inverse we've changed it from our addition to subtraction so five plus two equals seven seven take away two equals five and let's check if we're right so seven we're going to count back two seven count back two seven six five that's right so that's the inverse so today we're going to do lots of those concentrating on changing that addition to a subtraction later on in the week we'll look at number families and we'll see four different sums or equations that we can do using the seven the two and the five okay let me know how you get on